What's going on guys? Uh, I used all the tutorials, but I figured since I got a change the cooler for my CPU, which is an i7-4790K, um, I figured I'd show you guys how to do that. So I got the Hyper 2012 Evo, which is this one right here. I'm using my GoPro record, so I don't know how good the recording is going to be, but we're going to try my best. Okay, so you got your bracket that goes under the motherboard right here. You got your CPU cooler right here, which... This is the bottom. This is the part that will go on top of the CPU. It comes with one fan. You got your brackets to add another fan on the other side. Then you got this part. This is what will mount the CPU right on the cooler. And then you got your screws for the different motherboards. Um, you can do... Here, let me check. Okay, you can do sockets. I'll just put it on the side and try to focus on it. Okay, you can do sockets 2011, 2011, 3, 1366, and so on. I got a socket uh, 1150 for my CPU, so we're gonna take apart the computer and we'll get started there. Okay, we're gonna start by taking off both sides. It's gonna be way easier to get the back of the motherboard. I'm a little sick today, so I'm trying my best. Alright, I need a screwdriver for that one. Now we're just removing the stock CPU cooler that's in there. So with this one you need to turn. We grab our screwdriver. Okay. This is the stock one. So with the stock one you gotta turn the screwdriver left until you hear a click. Some of them will be stubborn. Okay, make sure you got it unplugged. Now all you gotta do is push it out. There we go. So we've got stock one out. Now you're going to grab an alcohol swab and wipe the excess of the thermal paste that was left on there. You, only use, uh, you can use isopropyl alcohol or anything just to make sure it's nice and clean. Okay. Since mine is an 1150, we have to use these ones right here and then these nuts. So we're going to take them out of the packaging. Even got a little socket right here. Tighten them up. Perfect because I don't think I have any sockets. So you see you got four holes right here. One and then two and then three, four right there. Where the stuff here was. So you're gonna insert one of these in each side, each hole I mean. Okay. Now from here you're gonna go to the back. Okay, so once you got the screws in, you gotta put this bracket here. Oops. So Put the bracket first before putting in the screws because you're going to run the same problem I had. 
the screws need to be oriented a certain way. If you look real close, there's a, where's, there's a, like a little flat notch, and that's what slides right in. So you got to rotate the screw till it falls into the knot. Okay, just find the hole. Okay, and from here we're gonna put in nuts. Okay, now from here, if you look on the socket they give you, it has a star screwdriver and so all you need is a star screwdriver. Just tighten each one. I don't want to over tighten them either. Just till you feel it's nice and snug. Now the next two things you need is the cooler and the bracket. Uh, just to make things easier, you can take off the fan, there's just clips on each side. So you just push these clips out, just in case the fan gets in the way when you try to put the mount on. There we go. Okay, so fan off. Okay, so since I'm installing it on an 1150 socket, what you're going to do is you're going to want to put this one in the middle. So all you got to do is pull on the screw. Let's see if I get a closer look. Pull on the screw and then slide it to the middle. Now we'll do the same for all the other ones. Okay, so now they're all in the middle. Okay, so you're gonna put it in, make sure everything lines up and all the screws are lined up. Okay, so all the screws are lined up, so now we're gonna put it on our processor. Okay, so it's gonna go in the processor this way because there's a notch right there. And there's a notch right here. So you gotta fold it back. You're gonna grab the thermal paste. This is the one that comes with the stock cooler. Uh, actually, it's the one that comes with this cooler, sorry. You're just gonna apply a little bit right in the center. Just like that. Add just a little bit more. You don't want to add too much so it doesn't drip onto the CPU. Okay, not the pain in the ass part. Now you're going to try to put this down carefully and line up all the screw holes. Start by just putting a couple threads through just so everything's all evenly balanced. Put screws in. everything is lined up and you just tighten all the screws. Try to tighten each one a little at a time. Just so you don't have it leaning one way. Okay, now that you got that in there, you gotta clip the fan back in. You can either put it on this side or this side. I'm gonna put it on this side because I got exhaust fans on top of my case. So if you put the wire down, you're gonna have way easier time with the cable management. 
easier time to plug it in. So all you're going to do is slide it down and then clip it back in. And try not to get your fingers caught in the fan. Okay, good. In. Perfect. Now all you do is take this and then plug it in where your plug in is. Mine is way over here. Okay, and this table I'm just going to tie wrap it to another cable just so it doesn't actually want to pull it on the other side. There you go. That's how you install the CPU. Any questions or anything, just hit comments and uh, like and subscribe to the video. Thank you.